Hello and welcome to this tutorial video where I show you how to add audio to your Google Slide presentations. So there is no way natively in the Google Slides web app that allows you to record or create audio there. You actually have to upload the audio to your Google Drive. So log into your Google Drive and find the folder where you want to upload the audio to. So for me, I've created a new folder here within my Google Drive called Google Slides Tutorial, and I've uploaded a voiceover that I've recorded. I've uploaded a couple of sound effects as well as a background music track. So again, go to the folder, right click, go to File Upload, find the audio you want to upload and either double click or click open, and it will go ahead and begin to upload that audio track for you. Now, hop back over to your Google slide presentation and for the slide where you want to add the music track or audio file to, you can select a slide over here on the left hand side. Go ahead and go up here where you see the toolbar and go to insert and then you'll see an option that says audio. So here's my folder that I've created, the Google Slides tutorial folder, and I'm going to be able to see all of the different audio files that I've uploaded. Let's say I want to upload this voiceover file here. I'll select that file and then I'll click on insert here, the blue button where it says insert, and it's going to create the audio. And then once it's done, it'll go ahead and put a little audio ticker here on the slide. Now, a couple of things once we have the audio inserted. We can click and hold the audio here and we can move it anywhere on the slide. So we can go here and we can look right here. Now we can increase or decrease the size of that icon by clicking and holding and dragging left or right look like you would any element within Google Slides. Also, when you have the audio track selected, you'll see the playhead right here where we can go ahead and click play. This is a voiceover to put on top of and it will begin to play the voice or audio track just so you can make sure it's what you need. Now, if we ever wanted to, we can click on these more options here and we can go to playback speed and we can always slow down or speed up the speed in which the audio plays back, okay? So that's what you can do as far as moving this around on the slide itself. Now, once we have this selected, you're gonna see the format options over on the right-hand side. The first option is going to be, do you want the audio to play playback on click? So when you click here on the Google slide, or do you want it to automatically begin playing? Now, what does this mean? This means if we go up here and go to slideshow in play, this is a voice instead over. of me having to click on it, right? So that's what that means there. So anytime you want to go back and adjust your audio, you just click on the little icon here, and this will bring up all of these formatting options. Next underneath here, we have the volume when presenting. You can increase or decrease this by sliding the little slider here left or right. Next right here, the hide icon when presenting. Now, if you don't want this to show, which normally you probably don't, uh, you will select this here. That way, whenever you play it back on a slideshow, this means that whenever you go back and you play the slideshow back, uh, it will not show this little icon here. It'll only play the audio, right? And this is only available if you have this set to automatically as opposed to on click, right? So that's a good one for you to do there. Now, if it's a music track, so if we go up here and we go to another slide and we go to insert audio, and here is a music track here. I'm going to insert that onto slide number two. Normally, if you're gonna have a slide up presenting it, for a long amount of time, you may want that music track to loop, which means that it's gonna start from the beginning once it gets to the end of that audio track. So what you would want to do is you'd want to select loop audio, and that, that would mean that the audio would loop uh, over and over again until you go to the next slide or next transition. Next is going to be size and rotation. Uh, size and rotation is basically what we just did here where you can adjust the size of that icon here. And if you wanted to, you could even rotate that by selecting the circle here. Now, again, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you would, you can adjust the size and rotation here. All of these things are going to be as far as the image itself and not necessarily the audio, right? So if we go here, select the audio again, you'll see our formatting options on the right hand side. And these top ones here are going to be associated with the audio itself. And the ones below that are going to be just the icon itself. So if you want to adjust the, the color of it and position to better better go with your theming of your slideshow, you may can go in here and you can recolor that. You can see I can change it to a blue color, a yellow color to better suit the slideshow that you're presenting 
you know, right here. So whenever you export your slideshow, all of the audio will be just like you set it to autoplay or on click. And that's it. That's how you insert an audio file within your Google slide presentation. If you have any further questions about how to do this, please put those in the comment section below. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.